great to be here. I'm proud to um, represent Lars. I am the HR manager here. I've been here for about three and a half years, and I have a presentation to share as well. I'll, I'll pull that up now. So I'll go through a few informational slides and talk about our openings as well. So Lars is an industry leader. Um, we manufacture boilers, water heaters, and pool heaters. These are some pictures of our facility that I think you might find interesting. Uh, the top left is obviously the, the outside of the building, and then we're also showing some of the training rooms and our um, reception area as well. It's a the training rooms are actually they were built in 2012, so they're new and they're state of the art. We have a research and design lab that is also um, fairly new. It's um, a lab where we test our new products and make sure that they're they're good before going out to market. Um, the following picture here is a warehouse. This was built in 2017. This houses our finished good products. We also have a few people that work in that warehouse as well. And the, the picture here is an overview of the facility. Obviously, this was um, back in the <laughs> winter with the snow on the ground. So some statistics, um, Lars right now has 167 employees. Um, an interesting fact, 83% are male, 17% um, female. Turnover percentage is very low at one to 3%, and we are a non-union facility. Just some um, comments from our employees. This one is our general manager, Rich Simons. He um, states the following, Lars has always focused on being a great place to work. We truly believe that our people are one of our competitive advantages. We maintain long-term employment while providing competitive wages and full benefits. We take great pride in being part of American manufacturing. We hope you will stop by and see if this is a fit for your career. Uh, another testimony here from a manufacturing engineer, Evan. Um, the best part about working for Lars has been the variety of work I can perform from day to day. Because our manufacturing floor is evolving quickly to match the demands of our customers and product designs, I have been able to involve myself in projects throughout every step of the process. This fast-paced environment provides many learning experiences and means that I'm never tied to a desk. Additionally, the atmosphere in the manufacturing department fosters a mentality of constant process improvement, and I always feel confident making suggestions for new projects. Uh, Evan's been here probably two and a half years. He started as an intern. Um, we also have another um, long-term employee, John, who is in fabrication. Um, he's been at Lars for 15 years. Um, he says in that time, Lars has and continues to make substantial investments in the facility and cutting-edge equipment. Over the years, Lars has introduced multiple new products, which ensures a solid future in the heating industry. We work with quality materials to produce parts for both new and sustaining product lines. We have a safe, clean working environment with a steady workload. There is plenty of opportunity for advancement, and Lars offers a good benefit package. I recommend joining our team. Um, so speaking of benefits, we have a lot of um, people pride us on our benefits as, as they enter um, the workforce here. We have a choice of two medical insurance plans, um, HSA, which is a health savings account, and HRA, which is a more traditional plan. Both have a generous employer contribution, and both also have low um, payroll deductions. And um, we also have a wellness credit. If you meet a certain wellness criteria, you reduce your um, insurance premium by $20 a pay period, which is really good. Um, we offer dental insurance with four free cleanings per year, vision insurance, 
um, company paid life and accidental death and dismemberment, company paid short and long term disability, employee assistance program, a 401k retirement savings plan with an employer match after one year. We offer fitness reimbursement for um, local gyms. We have a YMCA that's literally across the street, and we have a Planet Fitness that's down the road. And we have a small company culture that focuses on people and success. So the, the two um, opportunities that we have available currently is, are the manufacturing assembler position, which is the entry level um, assembly position. Um, it starts between $14 to $15 per hour. We also have an engineering lab technician um, starting at $20 to $22 per hour. Um, I won't read all of this, but our manufacturing assembler, the hours are Tuesday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. They do um, come in on Mondays if there is overtime needed. For this position, it would be great to have someone that um, has a minimum of one year of manufacturing experience, high school diploma or equivalent, um, basic math, math skills, um, ability to read and interpret documents, um, blueprint reading is good if you have that, effective communication skills, dependability is a must, um, ability to lift up to 50 pounds. Some of the um, equipment can be um, up to 50 pounds. If it's anything more than that, obviously two people would be lifting it or we would have a crane that lifts. We need someone who is able to be flexible on working overtime. Um, our busy season is the winter, so typically a lot of our overtime is, is in the winter months going into um, well, starting in fall and going into the spring. So this is a, a position that actually, you know, builds our boilers. You would be assigned a particular line. You would learn aspects of that line. Um, you would use a variety of hand tools. Um, and you would ensure the product is built to specification and meets quality standards. Safety is a, is a must as well. Um, the other position we have open is the engineering lab technician. This um, position is also for 10 hour days. However, it's Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So this would be an entry level um, type of lab tech, but it, the person would need to have some mechanical ability, um, a technical school certificate um, or military training is preferred, but it's not necessary. So this person would work as a team member in the lab, um, responsible for setting up and tearing down um, basic electrical, mechanical, and fluid systems, testing boilers in accordance with international standards and or instructions provided by the project engineer, accurately and thoroughly communicate results, keep accurate and detailed records of testing, and also have some troubleshooting um, skills as well because you're going to troubleshoot and and figure out where any of the issues are it could be electrical mechanical or programming um, the experience here is a little bit more than the assembly position obviously like I mentioned before we would like someone with mechanical aptitude um, machinery aptitude a good work ethic eager eager to learn new skills um, ability to apply concepts and skills to ongoing and new projects and able to work alone with minimal supervision. This is a hands-on position as well. You would need to be able to safely and properly operate basic hand and power tools and electrical instruments. Familiarity with data acquisition is a plus. You would want to have basic computer skills for this job, um, especially Microsoft Excel. Um, a lot of the testing is recorded in Excel, or I should say probably all of the testing is recorded in Excel. 
So you would want to have um, basic knowledge of that. Basic um, math schools would be beneficial. Um, again, you'd want to be able to meet the physical requirements. There's a lot of standing, bending, and lifting up to 50 pounds in this role as well. And then um, two plus years of experience in any of the following, um, gas heating products or appliances, gas plumbing, electrical wiring, HVAC products, automotive technology. Um, we found that people with that background often um, succeeds in these positions because they do have that mechanical aptitude or um, manufacturing environment with complex products. So Lori, thank yep. you. And thanks Great. to Lars Heating Systems and jobsinnh.com. Thank you. you. Yes, sorry, I forgot about the lag. I keep forgetting about the lag. You're welcome. <laughs>